Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Sanj, and today we are back with another video. It is the beginning of the month, which means we're going to wrap things up with regards to our previous month in what we like to call our monthly fashion favourites. So, for the month of... February, yes. We're going to be talking about some of my recent purchases, the music that I've been listening to, the movies that I've seen, and any books that I may have read. Telling you now, I know it's disgusting behaviour. There is no books, unfortunately, for this month. I've, I've just been slacking so badly. But we're going to start things off with fashion. And as you know, as of recently, I've been picking a lot of things up. I have been showing them off to you. However, pretty much on the last weekend prior to flying from LA, we went to this amazing vintage store and uh, came across a few pieces that I am um, gassed to show you. They are all leather jackets. Two of them were from this vintage store. One was a leather jacket that was sent to me and I only got it once I got here back in the UK. So with that being said, item numero uno is this beautiful green vintage leather jacket. Now, if you follow me on my Instagram, you might have seen this already. If you look at it from the front, it's just a standard, standard green leather jacket. Amazing cut, amazing colours as well. It's colours that you don't come across very often, at least in my opinion. Now, if you turn it in the back, that's when you get the true, the true beauty behind it. It has three massive stop signs, one that can be found on the back, two on each elbow. And I guess this is the main talking point of this piece. It is just absolutely gorgeous. The colours are very reminiscent of a leather jacket that Supreme did. That Supreme? that Supreme did, I think it was last season or perhaps two seasons ago. I mean, I'm not saying that was the reason why I went for it, but I love the use of the green with the white and the black, the contrasting colors of those, and then the hits of the red. I think it's really, really, really fucking cool. And um, it looks awesome, you know? I know that the back isn't gonna be everyone's cup of tea. When I picked this up from the store Vintage on Hollywood, I was with Magnus, and he personally didn't like the two stops that are on the elbow. He found that the stop on the back is enough. So yeah, it just goes to show that personal preference will come into play here. I acquired this for $250, which to some might be expensive, to others might be more reasonable. Now this was a vintage store with a very curated selection and the owner is super, super passionate about all the pieces that he had. Although it doesn't justify the prices at all times, I can kind of understand it. And this, to be completely honest with you, in comparison to the other selection that he had, was definitely on the cheaper end of things. And I think at 250, it's actually a beautiful, beautiful leather jacket. This is a size XL. It does fit kind of oversized. Love, love, love the color. And I love the way it fits on body being oversized and it has that sort of slouchy nature to it. So that is item leather jacket numero uno. Item numero two. And we've got this amazing, just absolutely, look at it, absolutely stunning orange cafe racer i think that's what they called the ones that are zip in the middle and cut in this manner cafe racer leather jacket it says just leather and that's pretty much all there is to it beautiful beautiful orange color super stiff it is definitely a leather jacket that i need to wear into and soften and really break and mold it to my body because right now it is very stiff but once you're in to me anyway it fits beautiful it is a bit on the slimmer skinnier side so this leather jacket for example i'd go for skinny jeans and, and boots and that sort of vibe previous leather jacket being more oversized you can go for a more relaxed comfortable fit i love this beautiful orange it's something that you don't come across very often in fact this is the only orange outerwear that i own and over time with the leather i can't wait for it to build this really nice patina and show character this was a bit more on the expensive side however i bargained the fuck out of it and i got both of those for $700, I think it was. So $250 for the other one, which makes this guy $450 again. Some might find it to be expensive, some might not. I personally think this will definitely hold on to its value. Love it, and the fact this is just leather as well. If it didn't have this, then it would just be, I'm not saying this is a massive game changer, but I love the fact that it's there. Nice little pop of yellow, kind of accentuates the whole piece and gives it a bit more of a um, of a vintage look to it, you know? If it was just orange, it could be a leather jacket from any old designer or any high street retailer, whatever it may be. But I think this guy right here gives it that touch of authenticity and a bit more vintage. And yes, that is leather jacket numero dos. I'm telling you, man, this store, this isn't even sponsored or anything. Just absolutely beautiful. Vintage on Hollywood in LA, check it out if you have the opportunity to do so. And then last but certainly not the least, we have a number from The Arrivals, which is a New York based brand. And I think this guy right here is called the Occuburn or the Oriburn. 
It retails for 895 USD. Yes, it is steep, however, and big, however, I got back home, what, three days ago? I opened this up two days ago. I've pretty much worn this every day. Well, it's only been two days, but you know what I mean. Super comfortable. I absolutely love the cut. It is very unlike any other shirling that I've come across. Now, the other shirling that I own, it is one of my all-time grail. It is a vintage World War II shirling. Love the fit. It is super, like, super bulky, very heavy duty. And that is what I would expect from a Sherling jacket. That is what I love in a Sherling jacket, right? And then I came across this piece and it's cut in such a, such an intriguing manner where it is very fitting to the body. However, it still has a, a relaxed nature to it. A weird one to explain. It fits really nicely, but it also fits kind of big without it being too oversized, basically. It's an odd one to describe. However, I'm hoping that you can see it on body and you can kind of understand where I'm going with this. The sleeves end perfectly for me. The pocket detailing with the zips on there, two pockets at either side, the little tab that can be found underneath the... Just bruh, this piece, beautiful. The arrivals absolutely smashed it with this. So, so gassed to have this and I'm happy to include it in my wardrobe. I needed a nice black on black shirling jacket. Voila, that is that. And that is literally it for my fashion favorites, man. Just three items, three leather jackets. They are my most recent purchases. Everything else, and I did buy a lot recently, I've already shown it to you. I'm not gonna lie to you, prior to leaving LA, I didn't really know what to show you in my monthly fashion favorites. Anything I picked up from Silver League, I've showed it to you already. And then the following stuff that I picked up for the following video, I showed them to you already. So I was like, okay, man's need to cop a few tanks. And I came across these and Winner, winner, chicken dinner. With that being said, let's just jump straight into music favorites. Now, here are 10 songs that I've been vibing to. Some of them might be old, some of them might be new. Enjoy. That was an awful, awful clip. Actually, that's a fucking lie. Sorry for swearing, mum. But before I move on to music favorites, a question that I've been asked so much as of recently is in regards to this guy right here, this Cuban link chain. In length, it is an 18 inch, so it sits kind of high up, almost like a choker. And in width, it is 14 millimeters. Now, I personally got it from the boys at Harry Hunt & Co as a custom order. It isn't available on their website. However, if you drop them a message, they might be able to pull a few strings here and there for you guys. Just let them know I sent you. It is absolutely beautiful. It is thick. It is heavy. It is obviously going to be expensive. But, um, you know, it isn't like a bedazzled chain. Right. I feel like I've cleared that up. I've, I've had that question so much recently. So I thought I would address it. My voice right now is sounding super deep and super croaky because I think I'm feeling a tiny bit under the weather. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of fucking with this. You know, it's making me sound hella manly and just like, yo, what's good, B? Oh, that was stupid. Let's just go into music favorites. As I said, here are 10 songs that I've been vibing to. Some of them might be old, some of them might be new. Enjoy. You can't say if I'm mad or not. Smoking hella weed, I'm on it. Get a blunt, roll the weed, light it up. Nigga sipping on gin and juice, fill up your cups. Brooklyn, now I'm down in Tribeca, right next to the Nero, but I'll be hood forever. Cash moves, everything around me. Green, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. But it what you want? Some violent shit. I get it custom. You a customer, you ain't custom to going through customs. You ain't been nowhere, huh? Everything shake, no Saudi. My G just came out for a shooting. And Rams done a madness. Many in the world, but I'm looking for a girl with no ties, no ties. Come fly with me, let's float down to Peru. And then we've come to the final section of this video, which is movies and TV series. TV series, I mean, besides the ones that I normally watch, there hasn't been anything new. However, with that being said, obviously Game of Thrones, everyone's aware of this. Game of Thrones season eight is starting very soon. I sort of lost interest, for slash fell off at the beginning, or it was during season five. So I'm hoping to catch up, watch all three seasons, five, six, seven, eight, well, five, six, seven, and then watch eight with everyone when it comes out in April. And then for movies, I've been on a few flights recently, so I caught up with a lot of movies, but the one that stood out, I finally saw Get Out. I don't know why it took me so long to see this, especially considering how hyped of a movie it was. It was a great movie. But the movie that stood out to me was actually an Oscar winner, 
and it was The Green Book. Now, I absolutely love this film. I, I thought it was phenomenal. For some, well, not for some reason, I, I researched into it and I understood it, but a lot of people, as soon as it won a Best Picture at the Oscars, a lot of people were very, very angry. If you're one of those people that thought Black Panther deserved that, Shut your fucking mouth. No. No, it doesn't. I get it. It's, it's a phenomenal movie. It doesn't deserve best picture. With that being said, I know people were, were kind of pushing for Black Klansman. I was so glad that Green Book won it because incredible storytelling, incredible, like visually, it was such a beautiful movie. However, it turns out that a lot of it were historically and factually incorrect. And if I recall correctly, this was one of those movies that was based or inspired by true events. So that is the only sort of con that I can think about this movie. The fact that it didn't stick as true to the story as possible. But hey, that's, that is why they make movies, you know? Everything needs to be spiced up a little bit. Some things read better as a book, but then on a movie they might be boring and, and I completely understand that. For that reason, I'm able to overlook it and I would definitely recommend you guys to check it out. It is absolutely incredible. Mahershal, I, can't, I can never pronounce his whole name, Mahershal Ali? He's just such a sicko, man. Back-to-back -back Oscars. Smashed it. Well done, bro. I don't know you, but whatever. Great movie. Check out the trailer right now. I've never had fried chicken in my life. You people love the fried chicken. You have a very narrow assessment of me, Tony. Yeah, right? I'm good. Who would be interacting with some of the wealthiest people in the country? It is my feeling that your addiction Oof. could use some finessing. And that is going to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching this. Normally I include books, as I've said at the beginning of the video. Man, I've been slacking heavy when it comes to books. It's so bad. It's so, so bad. I'm being super slow with the book that I'm currently reading. I think I'm really trying to take it all in. And I've spoken to you guys about it. It is Laws of Human Nature. I think that's what it's called. It's by Robert Greene. However, if you enjoyed this video, well, thank you. Uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It helps me out tremendously. If you wish to see more, click subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you wish to follow me on my social media, that is right here. S-A-N-G-I-E-V. That is for my Instagram, my Twitter, and everything else. That is it from me. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.